Hey there, this is Todd at Biz Ladder. This training video is gonna talk about Wix products and adding, editing, and managing variants. Those are options, color, size. In this case, we're looking at candles. We're gonna talk about fragrances. So this is the product page. You can see we've got our fragrance list here. Some items are grayed out, cannot be selected. Those are out of stock. We'll look at that. And then we've got a list here of the different fragrances. Fragrances, excuse me. Let's go back into the dashboard. This is where you're gonna uh, edit your product variants. So we're gonna go into store products, products. We're gonna find our classic black tin candle, six ounce. Scroll down and we see product options. That's just what Wix calls variants. You can add multiple options. You can decide if you wanna manage pricing and inventory by variant or variant combination if you add multiple options. Uh, that's one little note. Be careful if you have an existing product and add another option. And meaning, let's say with this six ounce, we were going to offer it in an eight ounce too and wanted it displayed on this page. If you add another option and manage pricing and inventory for variants, you're going to need to create those option combinations, fragrance and size. So just be careful when working with existing products. In any event, all we're going to do here is edit or add our fragrances. So we can click here or we can click the edit. Let's click edit. You can see it brings up our list. I've got a list over here. You can see I tried to copy and paste them in in mass. It didn't work. So I'm going to do it one at a time, the old fashioned way. You can see off screen here I'm copying and then I'm pasting in I've got just a few more. You can do this as often as, as many times as you want. I don't know that Wix has a limit on variants. In general, you're going to want to try to keep it under 20. Even that's kind of high. Um, but start getting beyond 20 and, and you're just going to lose people. Hicks, Hicks law, paradox of choice, all that good stuff. Um, give people too many choices, they end up making none. So in any event, I've added them in. You can see that I'm going to apply it, right? So then we're going to manage variants. Actually, let's save that. I want to see if it picks that up. It did not used to pick up those new variants, but let's check it out. So we added black sea, mahogany, teakwood, right? So it did pick them up. Oh, good. Okay, this is an update that Wix has made. So it's picked up those new variants that I've added here. That's good. It automatically picked that up. And you can see we're controlling inventory in stock, out of stock. We don't have an inventory amount. And when we edit, you can see a simple binary in stock, out of stock for each variant. And white birch, out of stock. That's why over here, white birch is grayed out. So you can change weights. You can change visibility, whether it's hidden or not. And upcharge per variant. All that's controlled inside the manage variants, right? You can go down here and select certain ones, or you can track inventory. I'm not going to select this, but if I were to check this, it would give me a field here to actually add an inventory amount into the, into the website. So we don't need to do anything else here. One final note. So you might be wondering, how do I sequence these? How do I organize, sort them maybe alphabetically or, or by category or some other sort method? So... The only real way to do this, there are two ways. One is just brute force. You go in here and you put them in, in the list, in the sequence that you want, or you're gonna use the import export option. You can export your physical products, export your products to a CSV file, Excel file, manipulate the sort order, and then import them back in. You have to practice at this and understand what's gonna happen when you import to a product that already exists. That's a separate video, but create a test product, try some things out, and you'll be able to pretty quickly see the implications of importing new products versus existing versus new options versus existing options, You know all the different permutations of, of importing product data. But that's one of those two methods is how you're gonna to have to uh, what you're going to have to employ to, to change the sort, order, or sequence. One last thing. Let's see if we picked up our new fragrances here. We'll scroll down. And there we go. Black Sea, Mahogany Teakwood, all the ones that we just added. Um, 
through the dashboard. So that's it. Uh, any questions, reach out to us at BizLadder, 302-307-3247. That's a number you can call or text, BizLadder, 302-307-3247.